You know that too. And NBC 5 medical expert, Dr. Robin Miller, joining us now for this week's Focus on Health. Thanks for being here, Dr. Miller. Thanks for having me. Let's get to our first question. I always go first. Are there any <laughs> therapies not involving medication that helps patients with COPD or emphysema? Yes. A recent study has found that COPD patients who took singing classes for eight weeks showed improvement in well-being compared to patients who took a film class. Another study has found that yoga can improve lung function and the ability to exercise for patients with COPD. Anything else help? Actually blowing the horns. Trombone, horns, all help, even at the harmonica. Wow. helps with lung function. You would think that would almost be a negative because you'd be using them so much, but, yeah, but it great. definitely helps. Very nice. Mm. Okay, and our second question, is there something simple that can reduce DNA damage and oxidative stress? Yes. Researchers conducted a randomized controlled study that was six weeks long. 18 men ate a low zinc rice-based diet that consisted of six milligrams of zinc for two weeks. The remaining four weeks, they were given 10 milligrams a day. Before and after the diet, they measured DNA damage and inflammation and oxidative stress. All of it was reduced with the tiny increase in zinc. Okay, so we've all seen like the, the different kind of cold medications and stuff you can do, but what, what right. foods contain zinc? Seafood, beef, and cashews all contain a fair amount of zinc. Hmm. Interesting. But they also have zinc you know, replacement, lozenges, all kinds of stuff. But okay. it's probably better to get it from food. Okay, okay. Good. yeah, natural. Right. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So our last question, does the Mediterranean diet, we know you love the Mediterranean diet, <laughs> I know. does it help the brain? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, you brought it here, so uh, I said yes. yes. <laughs> You're a doctor and you like it. So I like it. Yeah. <laughs> a study done in Scotland followed 967 people for three years between the ages of 73 and 76 who did not have dementia. They had them fill out food questionnaires and studied their brain volumes on MRI at the beginning and the end of the study. Those who followed the Mediterranean diet had less shrinkage than those who did not. Interesting. Was there any difference in those who ate fish and meat? No. It okay. had something to do with the other things, the other parts of the Mediterranean diet. Which mm. is all that good stuff like olive oil, yes, olives, things you're thinking, well, bad, bad, but no, great. Right. Good and fiber. Mm -hmm. Lots of fiber. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. We're going to let you know that you can send your questions to Dr. Robin Miller right there at the address on your screen, or better yet, email them in. Dr. Miller at klbi5.com. Look for the answers to your questions right here next Tuesday night. Dr. Miller, thanks for being here. Now I'm hungry. I know. That's, That's good. It does yes. make you hungry. <laughs> <laughs>